All right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna do system test four. Um, we've made a couple of changes today. Um, nothing really new. Um, hopefully the next test, either test five or six, I plan on getting another pull station. Um, but we still have the 4099-9003 right here and this is the only pull station on the system. Um, I do plan on getting something else and then putting it right here, moving this um, somewhere around here. Um, I have a wire set up, um, but I don't have a wire too long, so I can't run it all the way down there. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just probably going to put it back here. And uh, yeah. So the panel is actually scooched up a little bit, and I have this light here so you can actually see what I'm doing in the panel because in the older tests, since this is under the stairs, the light really doesn't get under, and you can't really see what I'm doing, but. Now you can. Uh, still got the same old four troubles, those being tape, date and time, NAC 1 and 2 uh, don't have resistors, and a battery trouble since they don't have any batteries. Uh, we'll go ahead and go into the panel. And as you can see, I installed the dress panel just to clean things up a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and go over the alarms. So we still have, like I said, the 9003 adjustable pull station. Over here on NAC1, we've got my 4903-9254 110 candela electronic one strobe. Have these strips at the smart sink and it'll be doing slow march time uh, at the panel, which surprisingly is a coating that I haven't tried out yet on this panel. Uh, but yeah. And then over here we have the old Real troublesome alarm that, to be honest with you, I don't really like. That is the 4903-9217. Um, so, you know, for those of you who have been around for a little while, you know that the strobe used to have an issue where you would apply power and the strobe wouldn't work until you cut power and it would flash, similar to a smart sink. And then um, uh, I had to have a sink module hooked up to it to regulate the flashes and it would skip like crazy. Well, it turns out I hook it up to the panel and the strobe works fine. However, the horn decides it's going to sound wacky. So I had to take it down, play around with the little thing again. I got it to sound pretty good. Um, and the strobe actually flashes like it should. It's also 110 candela. So without further ado, Pull the alarm. on all right we go um we're gonna activate it one more time we'll do lights out
go. Apologize for the shakiness. All this, it's kind of leaning, so it's wobbling around. But, um, system's going to reset. Full station's all good. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty loud. Um, it's getting kind of late. As you can see, it's dark over there. So when I shut the lights out, it was basically pitch black other than the lantern. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, conclude the system test. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Oh, yeah. And for those of you who decided to stay all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much. Congratulations. You get a sneak peek for the next system test. Yep. We're using true alerts next test.